Ash Wednesday. This is the day Christians around the world go to church and receive a cross of ash upon their foreheads. Most know this day as the beginning of the 40 days of Lent, the season leading up to the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. They also know the words spoken as the ashes are being applied. They know it's a day of great importance, but many do not understand the depth of its importance. References of ash or dust can be found throughout the Old Testament. After the fall of man, God said to Adam, By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Ashes were used as an outward sign of mourning or repentance. In the book of Esther, we read that upon learning of Haman's plot to kill the Jews, Mordecai tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes. And he went out into the midst of the city, and he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. Daniel wrote that he turned his face to the Lord God, seeking him by prayer and pleas for mercy with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Job made his repentance known by saying, Therefore I retract and I repent in dust and ashes. Ashes were also used for ceremonial cleansing. The book of Numbers states that the ashes of a particular offering should be kept and used as a sin offering for the purification of the Israelites. The use of ashes today may not be the same as that of our ancestors, but the significance of the ashes we use on Ash Wednesday is. As the cross of ash is made on our foreheads, and we are reminded that from dust we have come, and to dust we shall return, our mournful repentance should be accompanied by the joy of knowing that in 40 days we will celebrate the ultimate cleansing of all mankind's sin through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ.